you've finished editing a session for a client and you want to send them the photos and let your client view their photos, share their photos with family and friends, download their photos if you choose, and order prints and digital files and other products. You can add photos to a gallery in Sprout and you can optionally attach that gallery to a shoot. And you can create as many galleries as you'd like and of course each shoot can have many galleries as well. In your gallery, you can set up a variety of settings to give your clients the exact kind of experience and access that you'd like. Let's go ahead and create a gallery in Sprout now. Click the plus button down here and then click add gallery. And the first thing we're gonna do is specify a gallery name. I'm also going to choose a brand up here because in this account I do have multiple brands. And then we're gonna go ahead and click add gallery. The first thing that we need to do in this gallery is of course add the photos. Now you can click here, you can click upload photos up here, or you can simply drag and drop from your computer. While your gallery is uploading, you can view the progress of the individual images here, go back, and you can also minimize this and then keep working in Sprout while it uploads. Now that the gallery is complete, we'll go ahead and click view gallery, and then we'll reload it to open up the gallery. At this point, your gallery is technically uploaded and now you could click done editing up here to publish the gallery and send it to your client. If you click write an email, it'll choose the default gallery email here that you can set up in settings and then you can go ahead and send it. Now, that's not it though. Let's go ahead and spend some time and walk through a few of the other things that you might want to accomplish in a gallery. Let's first walk through how to organize your gallery into folders for easier navigation. On the right hand side here, there is a folders section and you can create new folders by clicking the new button. If I click new folder here, I'm going to choose one called highlights and then I'll go back here into all photos. So now I'm gonna choose some images in here and I can hold the command button on my keyboard to select multiple and I'm just gonna drag them over to the highlight section. You can also add images here by just right clicking and saying copy to folder and then choosing the folder here. Of course, you can also create new folders here as well. And so that's how you organize your gallery into separate folders for easier navigation. Let's walk through how to let your clients download their photos for free in your gallery. We're gonna click the settings button in the top right corner and then click downloads. This is where you can set up all the free downloads for your clients in their gallery. And you can specify a different download permission for visitors, which is anyone that visits the gallery, for a logged in client, which is your client who logs into their shoot, or you can create a new password protected download that you have to give a specific password to to allow people to download. And for each of those, you can choose which download preset you wanna use, and you can create these in settings. So if you want to have a watermarked low resolution one you can, if you wanna have an original one you can, you can set that all up here. And so if I let gallery visitors not view anything or download anything, and then I made logged in clients allowed to original resolution, then now when the client goes to the site, to the gallery, and they're logged in, they'll be able to download those images. Under the advanced settings here, I do have some more control if you want to allow clients to only download specific folders. So if I don't want to allow them to download the all photos folder, but only allow them to download a specific folder, then I can choose that folder here and that way they can only download that folder. And so that's how you let your clients download photos in their gallery. Let's now walk through how to let your clients purchase prints and digital files and different products from your gallery. We're gonna click the settings button in the top right corner here, and then we're going to click the shopping tab. And the first thing you need to do is choose your price list here. And now anything from your price list will be available for purchase on the front end from the gallery. So if we click close here and then click view, once your client walks through the gallery here and goes into their photos, they will see an order button here and they can now click order and order anything from that specific photo or they can click shop up here to go into your full shop. And so that's how you let your clients order images and prints and digitals from your gallery. 